How y'all doing making Georgia? What an amazing fired up crowd. Of course, Stephen Miller just got you fired up. I think you're a little bit excited about the speaker that's going to be coming out in a few minutes. He was the 45th, and he's about to be elected the 47th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Now, I don't have to tell any of you what is at stake in this election, but I do want to add each and every one of you in these next two days, you all know somebody that maybe isn't sure if they're going to vote, and maybe somehow, if it's possible, isn't sure who they're going to vote for yet. And that's what your mission is these next two days. We have all got to leave it out on the field, because I can tell you, I have been watching him these last few weeks. Donald Trump is leaving it out, out, all out on the field for you. He is not slowing down. He's doing four rallies a day in every swing state, every swing district. He is fired up. He is ready to save this great country. I know you're ready to save this great country. We have all watched in disgust as they took a secure border and opened it wide up and let not just 10 million people, but let violent criminals, murderers, people on the terrorist watch list in. And they lied about it. They said, no, this isn't what's happening. None of those people are coming across. And it was the Border Patrol agents who told us, because they don't want an open southern border. They want to be able to do their job. They're even risking their lives to keep the cartels out, to keep the drugs that are killing people in every community out. That's why the Border Patrol Council just two weeks ago endorsed Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. They know he did it before. Kamala and Joe broke it, and Donald J. Trump will fix it. It wasn't that long ago, maybe five years ago, when you were paying less than $2 a gallon for gasoline. Seems like ages ago. But it was just one president ago. And it's just one president away from getting back to those days, because when Donald Trump's president, we're going to have energy independence again. Are y'all ready for that? They turned it over to the Saudis, to the Russians, to the Iranians, who used their billions from oil to go and uh, fund all the Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, all the people that are attacking Israel, attacking our friends, and attacking America. We've had enough of their crazy leftist policies. Now, let me tell you this, because I see a lot of young people in this crowd. Look at all these beautiful young people. Because a lot of times people say, why do we do this? Why do we risk so much? Why does Donald J. Trump risk all the things he's dealt with? He's got wealth. He's got fame. He's got success. He could go off into the sunset, and yet he doesn't. He takes the, all the crazy stuff they've done to try to put him in jail. To, people will try to assassinate him. All the things that have happened, why does he do it? He surely isn't doing it for himself. He's doing it, and you're not doing it for yourself either. You're doing it for these young kids because every generation in America has had better opportunity than the one that came before. And we are not going to let them take away the American dream and the opportunity for these young kids in the crowd. They deserve the same shot at the American dream. Kamala talks about an opportunity society, and they say, what does it mean? And she doesn't even know because she can't tell you what she stands for. She says she's for a secure border when you know she's not. She's even for fracking when you know she's not. She wants to mandate EVs. She wants to tell you how to live. She wants to raise your costs and raise your taxes. Are we going to let that happen? I know Georgia's not, but it all comes down to what we do in the next 48 hours. So we have got to leave it out on the field. Why? Because America, while it's a dream, while America's an idea, America is a living, breathing embodiment of our people, over 300 million people that want better for ourselves. It's why people come here from other countries, and they're going to do it legally, not illegally. And if you came here illegally and you're committing crimes, you're going to be sent back home. Donald Trump's going to do that too. But more than anything, Donald Trump is going to restore the promise of America. He's going to restore what's great about this country so we can be proud again. We can be strong again. The bad guys will be on the run again, and our allies will know we have their back. 
Let's return the greatness of America that we all know is there, that shines deep within us all, and let's give that opportunity to these young kids so they can enjoy the American dream, just like we all have and our forefathers have. Let's return this country to greatness. Let's make America great again. Let's elect Donald Trump. We're going to do it in two days, Georgia. God bless you. God bless this United States of America.